Hi, how are you? Before the sign was Still even well, on, we had ourselves a story. Yeah, let's go and we'll talk about it. We'll get away from the train so we don't have to yell at each other. For close to the last 100 years, the name Steli has hung above the town of Lebeau. Grandparents actually started uh, just selling out of a little old wooden building, which we have pictures on the, on the door here. Uh, in the early 1920s. Originally from closer to the river, the Stellies found themselves in Lebeau as a result of the flooding in the 1920s, quickly making it their home. My grandmother moved here and she just started out making sandwiches and, and just little things and it, it just evolved into, a, a, into the, the, the first restaurant. The store passed from his grandparents to his parents and Joel remembers growing up in the store. We had uh, plenty of slot machines when, when we were kids. Uh, it was lined up with slot machines and back then it wasn't really regulated by the, by the state, I don't believe, and, and uh, we would come in here and just not play the machines but look for money that people would leave behind in the machines. Working there in high school, Joel slowly learned the store business, eventually taking it over from his parents. Knew that, that probably sooner or later I was going to wind up here and, and, and it, it just worked out uh, you know, real good that I, that, that I did choose this profession. And keeping with him, some of the lessons passed on to him from his father and grandfather. You know, treat everyone the same, don't be uh, prejudiced. We, we, we're, we're all made in God's image and, and we're supposed to just be fair to one another. Today, Stellis keeps going. Despite corporate box stores or the building of I-49, serving as an oasis for weary travelers. We see people from France, from, from, from all different countries that, that, that want to come to uh, Louisiana and, and this is just a good stopping place. A community center. We have people that uh, meet up here every day in the restaurant mostly, I guess. It's just you have your locals every, every morning that are here for, for, uh, for breakfast and just to catch up on the latest news. And a home for the people who have become part of the Stelly's family. Miss Lee D was one of our waitresses here that's been here for, uh, she just retired a few years ago and she's still at home, but uh, she was waiting on tables here till she was, I believe, 89 years old. She's, she, she really uh, loved her job here. So for those who go there for their groceries. Or to enjoy the daily plate lunches you can rest assured that Joel Stelly will keep the store going. I'm, I, I still like working, I still uh, enjoy meeting everyone, and uh, I still have a couple of kids in college, that, so I, I'm not going to retire anytime soon. Making sure the Stelly name will continue to hang above LeBeau. And if you're looking for a reason to go visit, well, I think Joel says it best. We only have two registers in our store, unlike uh, Walmart that has 40. Uh, but uh, they only open two at a time over there uh, most of the time anyway. And tune in next week when we head to Acadia Parish. In Lebeau, I'm Daniel Phillips, KTC TV3.